Hi, this is a demonstration on the vMix panel software for an iPad. The uh, vMix panel software application is used to control the vMix production switcher, which I have over here on this computer. This is a software package that operates on a PC and allows you to do production switching, so switching inputs from cameras and from videos, etc. I have an application that now controls uh, through the Mac. It's called the vMix Panel Builder. Now this is the application that you would use to build your panel for the iPad, but you can also use it to control the software switcher through its API. Now, I'm not going to go into too much on how you build your panel, but just quickly here you can add objects by clicking on here and putting the pertinent information for vMix into the information box here and giving each one of these objects a different um, different commands in order to control different things in in the vMix switcher. So I won't, um, won't go too much into that. So what I will do is open up a file that I've already created here to show you how it actually works and controls the vMix switcher. So currently this one I've designed it to be the right size. This application here is available for Mac and Windows. You design your panel, give each button a command, proper vMix commands that you select through pull down menus etc. And you can control now the vMix switcher. So just as an example here I can cut from preview to program just by doing the cut command. So as you can see it's cut over there. So this is sending information through Wi-Fi through uh, the vMix API, sending the appropriate commands. Now if you want to use this on an iPad, I've got an iPad here, I just laid it over top of my Mac so that you can actually see it functioning on an iPad. So the vMix panel application doesn't allow you to design your panel as such, but it allows you to use your panel. So what you need to do is get the, um, the file from your computer, it could be on a Mac or a PC, because this is available for both, and transfer it to your iPad. In order to do that, you would first hit sync to tablet, opens up a little, little icon here that tells you when you're finished you can stop syncing. And you can open up the application here. Could have done it in the reverse or reverse order, it doesn't really matter. And here you'll want to check two things before you actually copy from your computer to your iPad. You want to make sure that you got the right IP addresses. So you'll go into the little gear, that's the preferences. You want to set two IP addresses. One is the IP address for the vMix computer over here. So that's the switcher. You want to have that proper IP for that computer because that's the control code is going to be going to there. The other one is the host IP. Now that's used for syncing. That's in this case my Mac. Now you could theoretically you could run this software on that vMix computer as well in which case then your host IP would be the same as your vMix IP. So now I have two separate ones. I've got the vMix IP here and the host IP over here. So once you've got set those, once those are set properly you can go and go to the sync icon, it will enumerate the, um, the templates or the panel available files so that you can sync them to your iPad. So uh, I'll just delete all of them now so that there's nothing on the iPad. So I will select, let's select this one here, I can add that and now it's brought that from its directory into the documents directory for this application on the iPad. It just transfers it via Wi-Fi. That's why we had to set up the sync uh, IP address. So that's one of them. If uh, you want to add more, you can add more, or you could just add them all. If I sit, hit add all, it's just added all of them. And they go in fairly quickly. These are small, small uh, files. It doesn't take long at all. The other thing you want to do is, uh, in, in this application, you can have your own user icons, and they're also stored on the on your desktop computer. So you want to transfer those user icons into the iPad as well. So you'll show the user icons and there's a whole bunch here. You can add one at a time or add the ones you need. 
um, I can add all of these as well. It doesn't take too long. Typically you don't want to have files that are too large. These are basically PNG or JPEG images. Try to keep them around 50k because you don't really need anything bigger than that. And uh, that would be sufficient. So now we've loaded the template files are all loaded and the user icons are all loaded into here as well. So now we can just open up one of these files and I'll open up the same one that's up there just to show that they do work in sync. So this one is opened up so you can see that this is the same as the one up there. I can get rid of the syncing right now. So if I cut now using the iPad you'll see that it actually cut the vmix, send the right commands and away you go. So now you can control it from an iPad. If I cut on the Mac here, you'll see that it will also sync up and the tallies and such and the views and everything synchronize as well. It's all in sync now because it's running through the API. So that's uh, basically it. Hopefully that was helpful and um, we can get this thing uh, in use for uh, vMix users. Thanks for listening.